Welcome back. I'm OG and today we are going to continue our series of doing the steam challenges. The ones that no one else wants to do or can do or has got to yet or whatever. And today we're going to land on Andrew's Comet. I say we're going to land. We're going to try to land on it. We are using the Dasher 5 rocket. Just like in the last two missions, like to Volko and Hypatian, it is unchanged. I do want to put little landing legs on it, but I'm not going to do that now. Maybe after this mission. I have not played again since the last mission. I have never tried to go to this comet. I do not know if it's possible with this rocket. So as usual, we're going to find out everything as we go along. So I'm going to take off, get us into orbit, circularize the burn, try and match up with the comet, and take it from there. Here we go. We are in orbit, we are circularized. Let's find that comet. There it is. Okay. This is a tricky one. To catch that comet, I'm going to have to swing around the sun, burn somewhere around here, then slingshot out here to an intercept and do a really big burn to match its speed and get into orbit around it. And I don't expect it to have much gravity at all. At least it is more or less in the same orbital plane as the planets, so that makes life a little easier. Okay. So let's plot a trajectory around the sun and then try to catch an intercept with a comet burning here at periapsis and hoping for something some sort of rendezvous Okay, I can't do it on this trajectory without circularizing more first, so I'm going to circularize. Now I have to try to find an intercept. And what do you know? Not bad. Not bad, but I can refine that.
I just don't seem to be able to plot a decent intercept from here and I don't know how to fine tune it or do it manually. So I'm going to go with what I have and then adjust it on the fly. I have lost some fairly critical pieces of my spaceship. Uh, this is not so good. I'm just getting rid of that side booster so I don't have the extra weight of lugging it along. I wish I'd done it before the burn. Since my other three boosters are gone, it's pointless keeping it. I'm going to go with that burn and readjust again when I'm closer. Having so little gravity, I think it's very difficult to get captured within the SOI of a comet. Okay, this is the tricky part with comets. They're moving so fast relative to you. Looks like we have a speed differential of one and a half kilometers per second. Though whether that's our differential or the comet's actual speed, I'm not sure. But whichever way it is, it's traveling a lot faster than I am. So I'm going to wait for it to get really close to me. And then I'm going to uh, try and catch up to it. That little burn wasn't really intended to do much. It was just to speed me up a little bit. Now I need to try and adjust my trajectory to something like the comets and then wait for it to almost pass me and then try and run like hell to match its speed. Not the greatest plan. Ooh, I've unlocked the achievement of discovering Andrew's Comet. So that's good. Now I wonder if I can land on it.
There are weird things happening here. I don't know why my prograde velocity seems to be in the wrong direction. is physically going in the opposite direction to what I am. How is that possible? Retrograde? But that makes no sense. I don't understand what's happening. I haven't spun around. I don't know. Whatever. I'm going to wing it. I have run out of fuel. I still do not understand why this is a retrograde burn. As far as I'm concerned, this is a prograde burn. Oh, I have pretty much matched the comet. was a retrograde burn I was in its SOI and now I'm going to be dragged backwards and then I'm going to burn retrograde and I'm going to orbit the comet ah this is good. Hello, little comet. I'm coming to get you. Takes so little delta V to change orbit around this thing. That's awesome. close or I'll get hit by an irregular comet while it's tumbling. It seems that the center of mass of this thing is not quite in what might be the center visually or oh, it's just that a lot of it is hidden in the dark. Okay I'm happy with this. I'm just going to try landing. One last quick save.
Let's wing it. This is looking all right. I am not unhappy with this. Got a shiny little comet, isn't she? Hi, albedo. Okay, OG, keep it together. And please don't run out of fuel. Turning the thrust down makes the adjustments easier. Miss Kerbals, you can turn the thrust down way more. One kilometer to go, still looking good. Flying without instruments, because I can. Makes good screenshots for the intro. See if you see something like that on the intro page. Or the thumbnail, rather. Maybe something like that. What's that? There's something down there. Probably just a little artifact. Graphics artifact. Not like ancient civilization artifact. It does appear to be creeping towards... Oh wait! It's my shadow! <laughs> it's my shadow! Oh, oh gee, you... Idiot. Scared by my own shadow. Hello, sun. Where's the sun? Sun, you scare me by making shadows. Evil sun. Ooh, look at the texture. Oh, this comet is pretty. They put some effort into this. I can't quite believe this is working out so well again. Yesterday we landed on Hypatian, no problem. First time, no reloads. Compared to the Volco trip, oh my word. So many full attempts, so many quick saves. Quick loads, rather. And this is... This is going suspiciously smoothly. 
I can basically just leave this now, not touch anything, and it'll land itself. Probably. This is almost beautiful. I, I, I just about feel emotional. Oh man, I must find out how to bring astronauts along and send them for EVAs on a place like this. Almost there. I'm happy with the vertical speed. I'm just going to let it touch down and I will kill the engine. Touchdown on Andrew's Comet. The OG has landed and I've got the achievement. Well done, OG. Now yesterday, when I touched down on Hapachian, I took off and fired the boosters, but today I don't have any boosters. So I think I'll just, I'll just leave this rocket here. I'll just save it to something. Save, save. On the comet. And I'll leave it there and maybe one day I'll come back to it. Maybe one day I'll do a rescue mission or go plant a flag there or something. That is pretty cool. Well, everybody, thank you for following me out to Andrew's Comet and landing on the comet. Yes, we really did that. It was touch and go for a while, but somehow we got the orbit synced up and everything worked out just fine. See you again next time. OG out.